What's going on, YouTube friends? This is Midlife Moto Crisis. We make motorcycle-related content along with our dog rider, the motorcycle dog, on our 2007 Harley Ultra Classic. So kick stands up and let's get down the road. Don't forget, if you like what you see, smash that like button, share with your friends. It's summer of 2022, fishing season's upon us. But gas prices has reached an all-time high. Unfortunately, my SUV only gets 14 miles to the gallon. I'm making it rain every time I go to the pump. Something needs to give. I have an idea. Motorcycle fishing. What? can possibly go wrong. Step one, unload the car and gather all my fishing equipment. Grab my bucket and cast net, shake off a sandy towel, and grab my camping cook set just in case we got lucky. Let's get down the road, let's go fishing. What's up my YouTube friends? How's everybody doing? How's everything going? Today, I've got the bike loaded up. We are heading out to the coast to do some fishing. Hopefully we catch something. I wanna do a catch and cook. Got everything I need loaded on the bike. Let's get down the road. Step two, we had to grab some fuel for the ride out. All right guys, made it to my first stop. We adjusted some stuff. Hopefully it's gonna stay on all right. Gas prices are crazy high let's go ahead and uh, fill up so we are working with a crazy five dollars and 19 cents basically call it five dollars and 20 cents all right friends we are on the road and we are heading out full tank of gas that cost us twelve dollars and 75 cents not too bad we probably won't even use half of it that goes to show you the big difference i love fishing and i love motorcycles right now if i could put two of these together fishing and motorcycles i'm a happy camper let's get down the road let's catch some fish and let's just have a good time So I am, guys, I am just heading north on US-1. I'm gonna find myself a nice little park somewhere on the side of the road that I can relax. I'll find it when I see it. There it was, an empty pavilion calling my name right on the water. So I 
need a change into my swim gear. And all it is, right underneath my pants. Great way to save room on your bike, guys. It was time to unload the bike and set up for fishing. Next, we needed to catch some bait. I pulled out my cast net, washed it off, started to head out and see what kind of bait I can get. The best bait you can get is the bait that's where you're fishing. Threw my cast net, pulled it up, and caught two mullet. threw the cast net a couple more times until I had enough bait for the rest of the day. All right guys, we're gonna go out here and cast this line. See if I can get it done. Time to drink a beer. After a few casts in the water, the pole was set and we were fishing. It was time to relax, so I pulled out my mocking with one big swoop that was already inflated ready to relax and chill and wait for something to hit my pole. They say a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work and today was no different. So I just had a huge hit, but unfortunately, I didn't get there in time. Well, that's how it goes. I was getting hungry, so luckily, I packed some sausage, peppers and onions and rice for some quick lunch. Cut up my sausage and onions. Started my camp stove and we were off to cooking. Food just seems to taste better when it's cooked outside. Currently don't have any fish right now, but I'm making sausage, peppers, and rice. Alright guys, we have sausage, rice, and peppers. Let's go ahead and dig in. So how does it look? Alright my YouTube friends. It's time for me to get out of here. Bike is all packed up, everything's good. Let's just take a walk around, make sure everything is situated. All right, let's get up and over. All right, guys, let's get down the road. So we'll be home at seven o'clock. I'll tell you what, man, I did have a fun time. It was a learning experience, right? 
I want to do more of this. I live in Florida, the fishing capital of the world. This is Jackson's Hole RV Fish wow. Camp. So if you guys are ever down here, come on down. It's a nice place and I'm sure there's plenty of fish because I got a big bite, but trying to film and trying to do a hundred things at once and not fish, I guess I'm doing it all wrong. Next time I come, I'll be doing it right. If you guys like this kind of stuff and you want to see me succeed at fishing off a motorcycle, smash that subscribe button, like the video, share with your friends, and until the next time, I'll see you on the next ride.